Starting us off at number 10, Dark Watchers. So Dark Watchers are humanoid beings ranging from 7 to 15 feet tall. They are cloaked figures, sometimes with wide brimmed hats that have been reported to melt and merge with shadows. If you spot one, they can disappear within the blink of an eye. They are mainly spotted in California. The earliest sightings are by the native Chumash tribe whose oral history of the Old Ones goes back centuries. The Old Ones are said to observe from a distance. As recently as 2018, a man said he encountered one. He was hiking up a remote trail and came upon a dark figure. He waved as a joke, not thinking it was a person, and it waved back. Then he thought he might just be tripping out or something, so he took a puff of his cigarette, and then the figure blew out a plume of smoke as well. And if that wasn't trippy enough, it started flowing and nearly floating vertically, so the man ran back to his car. If you ever encounter one, don't be too wary. They're not known to harm anyone as long as they're not disturbed, so just keep on your merry way and you should be fine. There's a little known folk tale that has circulated around Dartmoor in England for hundreds of years. I'd never even heard of it until I read a post by Reddit user This Reasonable Guy. What he described was the legend of the curry. It's said to wait near the graves of those who have died on the moor, waiting for an unsuspecting victim to pass by. If you wander too close, it will latch onto you and make your life a living hell. It has no visible form, so you won't even realize that the curry has attached itself to you. Over the course of weeks, months, or even years, the curry slowly convinces you of its existence. A faint whisper in your ear, appearances in your dreams, a cold touch on the back of your neck. As time passes, it becomes more aggressive, clawing at you as you sleep projecting its own face onto your family members as you talk to them, attacking you in your nightmares. Nobody else can see or hear the curry, making you question your own sanity. Then it makes you a promise. If you return to the moor, it will leave you be. It'll At number eight, we have the blue hole. Now there are several blue holes in the world. There's one in Belize, there's one in the Red Sea, there's a giant one in my heart that was left there from when Reboot ended on a cliffhanger. How are you going to end a show that so many people fell in love with on a cliffhanger? I will never trust again. Well this one is between Cape Verde and the Caribbean islands. Scientists are really confused about this thing. It's a crack in the bottom of the ocean floor and it's several thousand miles long. What's strange about this is there's no explanation explanation of how this happened. It might have been tectonic plates moving around, but when this happened, the Earth will probably start to repair itself and there's been no sign of this. My theory is, this is where Godzilla goes to sleep at night. I mean, it seems like the most logical answer. It's either that or the gateway to hell. Like, come on guys, I'm doing real science work here. We're gonna tag out a fascinating video for one that's just plain disturbing. On February 9th, 2004, a 22-year-old woman named Maura Murray disappeared after crashing her car on Route 112 in Haverhill, New Hampshire. Before the crash, the nursing student emailed her professors at the University of Massachusetts saying that she had to leave school to deal with a family emergency. But there was no family emergency. Since Mora was never to be seen again, this remains one of the creepiest and unexplainable cases in American history. Fast forward eight years to a video posted on YouTube on the exact day of Mora's disappearance. It was uploaded by a user named 112 Dirtbag and the title read Happy Anniversary. In it, an older man laughs maniacally for about a minute before stopping suddenly and winking. People immediately connected this man to Mora's disappearance, especially since his username comes from an often repeated quote by Mora's father that his daughter was probably kidnapped by some dirtbag on Route 112. Police tracked the guy down, but they found no evidence that he was involved. They concluded that the video was just a sick publicity stunt, but who knows for sure. Love Pride House takes us to number six. This was the site of one of the most gruesome mass slayings in New Orleans history. In the late 1830s, a wealthy man from Turkey moved into a mansion, but he also brought in a lot of people to live there with him. Well, over the years, the mansion was known for its mysterious parties, but one morning, a neighbor noticed blood trickling from beneath the gates. Once the police entered the mansion, they found the Turkish man was buried alive in the yard and all of his servants were mutilated, assaulted, and murdered. To this day, the ghost of his servants can be found wandering and haunting the home, screaming in terror.
La Llorona, the weeping woman of Latin America. Originating in Mexico, the story of La Llorona is as tragic as it is chilling. She's the ghost of a once beautiful woman named Maria. In life, she drowned her own children in a river after finding out that her husband was cheating on her. In her blind rage, she saw murdering their children as the ultimate revenge. When she came to her senses and realized what she had just done, she could no longer live with herself. She drowned herself in the same body of water. Now, trapped somewhere between life and death, Maria's ghost walks the earth, searching in vain for the souls of her lost children. It's said that at night, she kidnaps wandering kids, believing them to be her own. She then begs for their forgiveness, and drowns them. It's for that reason that you're most likely to find her near lakes or rivers, weeping to herself. According to legend, anyone who hears her crying is doomed to live a shorter life. And those who listen for too long are marked for death. For generations, the story of La Llorona has been an effective tool for keeping children from wandering out at night. There's hardly anyone in the whole of Latin America who didn't grow up hearing this story. With any luck, they won't have heard her cries. Number four, through the bushes. So this was a person out for a smoke break on a porch. And this was in South Carolina. So as they smoked and played on their phone, they heard a loud bang sound. So they looked up at the fence at the top of the hill in their friend's backyard, but they couldn't really see much because there were bushes in the way. But then one of the bushes rustled and a humanoid pale creature crawled out. They described it as human looking, but animalistic in the weirdest way. Its legs were long and its skin was pale. It looked like a mix of a dog and an extremely thin person. They quickly put out the cigarette and went inside. So the next day, the host of that gathering said he found that one of the boards of his wooden fence was broken, right behind the bush that the creature came out of. So it did happen, it wasn't just something that they saw. California Cryptid. Its fame transcends the internet since many prominent TV networks advertise the footage. The video came from a security camera stationed at the front of a Fresno, California home. It captured a moving figure that looked like nothing ever seen before. The Fresno Nightcrawler, as it would later be called, had long legs and a tiny head, and all attempts to explain the creature have been moot. So people have attributed every identity to the long stepper, from alien to ghost to puppet. YouTuber shakily records their apartment while inspecting every last corner. It's obvious that they no longer feel safe here and want to record for proof. Nothing is out of the ordinary until they silently cross into the bedroom. And that's when the horror is revealed. A girl with long black hair over her face sits crumpled on the floor. Look again and you'll see that even her arms and feet have no detail at all, like a silhouette. When he checks again to make sure he is not seeing things, he's surprised to find she is all gone. Oh, 
Right. Mm-hmm.